hello loves hope you're doing well welcome back again to this channel if you're new here karibu sana and please consider subscribing my name is sue henry and this is where we do everything and anything positive and if you're a returning subscriber by now you know you are always my best friend so i started off by oiling my hair and now i'm here to clean the my palace towels here i'm going to be mixing the white and the purple towels together they are going to be cleaning together because the purple one doesn't shed off the color so it's safe to clean together with the white one also i'm going to be using a jig which is omo omo jig but i'm going to be using it to disinfect my towels and also i'm going to be using the colored one because um, i'm using i'm mixing the colored towel together with the white one so that will work perfect for this so let's do this also i have a different batch of uh, towels which are different in color for these ones i'm going to be cleaning them separately because you know those are the for those are for pedicure and the other ones are for manicure i also have those shukas so guys let's do this i didn't use a lot of uh, powder soap because i realized it's staining my white towels it's almost 12 in the p.m and here i'm going to be uh putting on this waist trainer i've been here it's been seven months since i delivered and i've not bothered to use this trainer for my stomach as you can see it's still having that car bump looking like i'm still pregnant it's because i delivered through cs and my wound have been having issues that's why i couldn't have used this trainer earlier than I'm using it today but now i'm okay i can use it to train my maybe to flatten my stomach and yeah that's what i'm putting on and then i later continue with my my day as i work and the waist trainer will be on by now my first load of towels is already done so i'm going to be using this uh portable hanger to hang them here on my balcony it's barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no i don't want to waste what's left and I know we'll go through the wastelands through the highways to my shadow turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on and as my second load is cleaning i'm going to get into the kitchen and prepare my baby some porridge here i've been having toto afia that's what i've been using before only toto afia but after visiting my pediatrician he advised me not to have one type of porridge flour for my baby he told me to try like two one of which is toto afia and maybe one from one baby winning flour which i which i got familiar also he also he recommended a uh, lisha bora something like that so he told me that it's not wise to like uh, make baby get used to one type of porridge flour so i have to like explore a bit of or some of uh, the porridge flour so here i am i'm going to be trying this i'm going to be trying this formula uh also when i told him like when toto when i give my baby toto afia he is having those uh millet particles because toto afia has millet in his stool he told me nothing to worry about it more so if i'm giving my baby enough water to drink so yeah that's it that's what i'm going to be preparing but for today i'm going to be preparing this the, I'm going to be preparing porridge using the formula and see how he responds. I am super super hungry. The work here is a lot and demanding. So this is what I'm going to be taking for my lunch. And guys, here is a plug from me to you. This herbal seasoning mix is a salt that is the best salt to add on cooked food. Like those who of you who love taking raw salt. This is the best salt to be added on cooked food. This is a plug from me to you. It's healthy actually. <laughs> I 
as I was eating, I realized my stomach is so pressed. And guys, I tucked in the waist trainer because, you know, going to the washroom and such shenanigans, I had to tuck in the, trim, the trainer. So here I'm going to be removing it. I think it's after two hours because it's around 2 p.m. I'm going to check that. So yeah, I'm going to just remove it so that I'm able to feed well and my stomach to be free because this thing, oh... I salute those who usually have it for a whole day. But for me, I started, actually, I started using it like 10, 30 minutes and now I can use it for hours. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, it's 2 p.m., almost 2 p.m. Guys, I have these shoes. These are shoes that I'm selling from Turi Collections. You can check that in Instagram. If you have a toddler, I'm going to post all this with sizes in my page. That is Turi Collections. In case that you need to buy them, you, you need to reach out. They are so cute, guys. Look at that. They are so cute. They are so, so cute. We are almost Christmas. I recommend you to get the shoes. The sole is pure rubber. It's rubber. The hard rubber. The nice rubber. So, guys, just reach out for more. I'm also going to be leaving the page on your screen so that you can get your baby some shoes. They are new. This is not true. They are new. So, for this, I'm going to be showing you how I take photos of these shoes before I post them and actually how I take quality photos of these shoes or any other item that you could be selling. I'm going to be showing you how you should be taking photos of your items for business. So stay tuned, subscribe if you've not. Also like this video, that's how you will help me grow my community. And also guys, comment below and let me know how you think of this video. So here we are guys, this is my setup. This is how everything looks. This is my study table actually. So I have a white, uh, like uh, I have spread it. Actually, this is a bed cover. <laughs> This is a, like a, a bed cover. This is how the setup looks like. So I'm always placing my shoes on that white background thing. And then from there, that's when I'm going to be taking photos, as you can see. And the photos from this place always comes out like, comes out like, uh, you can think like this is the best quality camera that I always use to take my photos with. But actually, it's just a simple camera, only that the background is white and I have enough lighting. So in cases that you have business and you need to take uh, like bright photos, ensure that you have enough lighting and a black and like a white background thing. So actually, this is what uh, I managed to take photos of. And I realized, I later realized that uh, I did take photos, but when showing you guys, they were not as clear because of the, the ring light over there on the screen so i'm going to be putting a maybe a video on top here so that you can be able to see how clear the photos came out These we haven't played. No, I don't want no I did clean my kitchen uh, off camera so kitchen is clean but not well organized i'm going to be organizing that in a few maybe after i'm done uh, with the cleaning and maybe once the utensils are fully dry because i'm alone here i don't have a nanny so <laughs> i have to do everything by myself so i have to also give myself grace so don't mind those utensils over there. They are going to be organized later. I'm the one who is going to be doing that. So, and I'm still the one shooting the videos. So I'm going to be doing that later. So for now, I'm going to be cleaning these mats. And sorry for the background noise. That's my son. So I'm going to be cleaning these mats. And guys, these are from Smart Lady Home. That's a plug also. So let's clean this. Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go
after cleaning my mats i wouldn't have left my balcony that dirty with a lot of water so i decided to just wipe it down and leave it clean Here I have some post construction materials that I've not uh, thrown away but I think I should just throw them away because I thought they were to be used uh, somewhere in the house as we were finishing the construction but they were they were not used so I think I'm just going to to just throw them away later but not today <laughs> This is how my balcony area looks like. Uh, I know it's empty, but I'm hoping I'm going to be working on it and it will look much better. I hope I'm going to be able to do that. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I returned my mats, guys, and these mats are ever so soft i love the softness they feel on my feet because they always comfortable for my feet when cooking i'm going to be warming my baby's food and how do you warm baby's food by the way for me i always warm water in a sufuria and then put baby's food in a glass bowl and then cover it and then put it in the hot water so that it can warm i don't know about you but maybe you can comment below moms just comment below and let me know how you warm your baby's food because as i understand you should not warm baby's food using a microwave right so let me know how you do yours we'll go. after i did feed the baby i freshened up and now it's time to prepare my dinner here i'm preparing some spaghetti and some stew Today I woke up quite early because I've already hand washed my baby's clothes and now I'm doing the cleaning of the towels. Again, as I said, I clean these towels almost every day. So it's a lot of work. Like now I'm alone. So this machine always comes in handy at times, at, at times like this. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Until my next video, bye bye and take care of yourselves. Hello